Choosing the right epoxy for your project is critical for success, both in the air and on the ground. Two Brothers Hobby and Bob Smith Industries have teamed up to bring you this introduction to model epoxies. The first order of business is to recognize that there are two classes of epoxies, finish epoxy and bonding epoxy. Finishing epoxies are intended for surface finishing and are most often used as a low odor alternative to polyester resins used in traditional fiberglass. Finishing epoxies are more easily sanded than bonding epoxies and provide a smooth, durable finish ready for priming and painting. Bonding epoxy is meant to fasten or bond structural components together. Bonding epoxies are extremely strong and virtually never fail under normal use. We'll start by discussing the bonding epoxies found in 5 minute, 15 minute, and 30 minute variations. It's important to understand that the time designation on these epoxies refers to the working time and not the curing time. For example, a 5 minute epoxy provides for only 5 minutes of working time after combining before the epoxy begins to cure and becomes too thick to form or effectively bond to new surfaces. Now, in order to use two-part epoxies, you'll need to mix equal portions of the epoxy and the hardener in either a graduated mixing cup or for a simple solution, try using a coffee can lid. The lid keeps the epoxy contained and once cured, the epoxy will pop right off and you can reuse a lid on future projects. Great Plains makes both graduated mixing cups and mixing sticks that work very well for two-part hobby epoxies. I like to wear thin rubber gloves or surgical gloves for easy cleanup. Uncured epoxy is extremely sticky and can get all over everything before you know it. Now, uncured epoxy can be cleaned or removed with either acetone or, more effectively, rubbing alcohol. Rubbing alcohol is a lot less reactive to hobby plastics, so I use it almost exclusively when working on models. Just dampen a paper towel. Uh, and wipe away the excess epoxy before it cures. Now be careful not to saturate the epoxy though as it can thin the mixture and affect the cured strength. So go kind of light on the alcohol saturation of your rag and just kind of wipe it across multiple times until you see the epoxy has been removed. Now also critical when using two-part epoxies is the material and ambient room temperature. You should never use epoxies in temperatures less than 70 degrees Fahrenheit with the exception of five minute. It creates its own heat during the curing process so you could apply it in say 60 degree room and surface temperatures and it would be able to create enough internal heat to raise it to 10 or 15 degrees to be able to get effective bonding. Now epoxy applied in lower temperatures may never fully cure, resulting in much lower bonding strength, so pay close attention to the temperatures you apply your epoxies. Besides the working time, the different epoxies also have different bonding characteristics, so let's take a look at each one. Five minute quick cure epoxy cures slightly flexible, making it good for high vibration applications. Now it's not waterproof, but it is moderately water resistant, so be careful where you use it on, for example, your float planes. You don't want it around the floats, but up in the engine nacelles or inside the engine uh, uh, compartments just fine. Epoxy, this also warms as it cures, so this epoxy is able to raise the surface temperatures just slightly. So if you're applying it around 60, 65 degrees, you should be all right. Now this is the only BSI epoxy that accepts polyester resins. If you're using conventional fiberglass and polyester resins, it will actually bond to quick cure five minute epoxy. Quick Cure 5 Minute is workable for 5 minutes after mixing. You can handle it after 15 minutes and it should achieve full strength in about an hour. Now I like to use Quick Cure 5 Minutes on servo trays or balls of basswood servo mounts. Uh, it's, it's quick, it's effective, it's very strong and it handles the vibration extremely well. Now our next product is Mid Cure 15 Minute Epoxy. Mid Cure 15 Minute is ideal for larger areas if you have much more surface area to deal with. It also allows for more working time, so if you have to do more parts positioning or more parts placement, it gives you that extra room needed before it starts bonding. 15 minute also accepts acrylic latex color concentrate paste. If you go to your local paint store, they offer color concentrate paste that are made for acrylic and latex paints. You can use that to color your epoxy if it's going to be a surface material. If you're actually going to have a visible joint or some area that you don't want to paint but you want the color to match. You can also use silica or micro, micro balloons for added thickness or moldability. Now keep in mind though, when you add these fillers in, it does reduce the working time up to 25%. So you have to move a little faster if you use the fillers to thicken it up. You can also use chopped glass from fiberglass supply stores if you're looking for that added extra strength. Keeping in mind that the ability to sand or grind down the epoxy is, is greatly intensified when you have chopped glass inside it. Now this is also uh, the most flexible uh, uh, epoxy offered by Bob Smith Industries, so it's ideal for gluing to fiberglass. I use 15 minute a lot for gluing servo trays into fiberglass fuselages. It works perfectly. It's workable for 15 minutes after mixing, so once you put it in the pot and it starts to cure, you've got 15 minutes to place it. Uh, it can be handled after 45 minutes and it achieves full strength in two hours. 
I like to use the mid-cure on uh, firewalls, wing joiners, struts, uh, spars, landing gear supports, uh, just about anything, uh, motor mounts, just about anything that requires a lot of strength. I also use 15-minute mid-cure on vertical and horizontal stabilizers on my ARF kits. It works extremely well. I have enough time to position and also, keep in mind, enough time to clean up. Uncured epoxy with alcohol cleans easily, but as it starts to cure, it becomes much more difficult to remove. Our next product is Slow Cure 30 Minute. Uh, now, Slow Cure 30 Minute has uh, very specific applications, but its properties are it's ideal for forming reinforcement fillets on joints. It's a more thick epoxy once you mix it up, so you can form nice fillets on large structural members. It has the highest strength of all of the Bob Smith Industries epoxies by far. It's also fully waterproof and highly heat resistant. Uh, now, micro, balloon, micro balloons and silica and chopped glass can also be added to a Slow Cure 30 Minute and it does reduce the working time to 25 percent, so keep in mind of that. But it's workable for 30 minutes after mixing, gives you a little more flexibility to position everything, uh, but it takes a little longer to handle and to cure. It handles after eight hours and reaches full strength in 24 hours. Now I use slow cure 30 minutes on a lot of the same applications as my 15 minute where I don't really care so much about time and uh, I'm not fastening, my, uh, fastening or curing to a fiberglass. So I use it on firewalls, again, wing joiners, struts and spars, landing gear supports, motor mounts and stabilizers as well. Uh, now the last product we have to look at is Finish Cure. Finish Cure 20 Minute, a very different animal altogether and a very specific purpose. Um, Finish Cure 20 Minute is an excellent low odor substitute for polyester resins as we would mentioned before. So if you use fiberglass uh, or you have a fiberglass application for your plane, this is a great substitute for using those polyester resins. Um, used for applying fiberglass to wood, it will bond fine to foam or for molding your own fiberglass. If you want to make your own engine nacelles or your own uh, engine housings or other components uh, out of fiberglass, you can use the 20 minute finish uh, as a substitute for those polyester resins. Now it's the, also the easiest epoxy to sand. It's best if heated above 85 degrees for, for, light, um, for, uh, for working and for molding. Now keep in mind, it, it wants to be above 70, but you're going to find the most desirable properties off of finish uh, 20 minute epoxy if you take it above 85 degrees. You can use a microwave for about 10 seconds at a shot with the cap removed to heat it up to get it nice and warm. You're also going to want to work in a warm area so your surface temperatures are, are uh, up around uh, 75 or 80 degrees as well. Now there is, a, there is an alternative if you're not working in a warm area you can use a heat gun for the next couple hours and uh, wave it across the surface to keep things moving well and uh, keep things warm so it will help that product to flow and also bond effectively. Bob Smith Industries manufactures this wide array of epoxy products to meet the needs of about every hobby application. BSI epoxies are, and adhesive products are only sold through dealers though, so check with your local hobby shop or visit the BSI website at bsi-inc.com to find a dealer near you. Thanks for watching, good luck with your project, and be sure to visit 2bfly.com for more video clinics, workshops, and product reviews from Two Brothers Hobby.